Nineteen, leg news. All right, so straight into it. Headline news today: Chris Fountain from Coronation Street has been suspended from his job as a failed soap star. Oh shit! Shit just got real. You say, why did he get suspended? Was he a pedophile like Kevin Webster? Was he a rapist? No. He spat shit bars. What? Everyone sat up in the fucking press office at fucking Coronation Street trying to fucking dish out lasers now. Are you fucking mad? Do not be stupid. I'm out here dishing out lasers. So, you think that you can cover up? It wasn't fucking a couple months back that fucking Kevin Webster was Coronation Street's biggest fucking pedophile. And now what? You've got some fucking rapper, some young guy that's got caught spitting bars of a fucking mask on, and you wanna fucking lay him down? Are you dumb? If you wanna see him catch a fucking laser for his shit bars, then watch the laying down on Tuesday. But this, this is when it needs to get fucking broken down with the realness. you got Kevin Webster out on your fucking street. This guy's a fucking minor. Yeah, okay, you got some sideways bars about rape, but nah. Really? This is a minor between Kevin Webster. But fuck that, you think I wanna go in the coronation staff room? You got fucking Kevin Webster over in this corner chatting some fucking crabbish, slanting nastiness about fucking being a pedophile. And you got my man in the other corner fucking spitting some shit bars. Fuck that, bruv. I would call him sick, bruv. You think I'm gonna do that? Are you dumb? Len. Anyway, the next story here. A boss from Buffalo, New York is made £135,000. That's $210,000. How are you asking? I'll tell you how. Like a flipping goo. So, his job, he's got 1,200 metres across New York, car metres, you know, parking metres. That is his job, to repair them. He's not a sideways, slanted, moving traffic warden fucking crying himself to sleep because he's a pagan. Nah, he just repairs them so that these traffic wardens can continue crying themselves to sleep and they still have a fucking paganistic job. Anyway, so, this boss for hmm, shit, I have fallen ill. Yes, it is sad. That ain't a joke. It's not some sick, twisted joke. He is actually ill. So he thought, shit, it's just not real. How am I going to leave money for my family? Tell you what, I'll use my fucking boss man fucking repair skills. The guy just rigged the fucking meters. So you're putting in quarters, dollars, this, that, that. Every quarter that went into that machine, went into a little separate thing. He's able to take that. He's making best friends with the bank, going there three times a week, handing them five bills. He got two and a half years. For what? Yeah, okay, he teeth fucking grams. But, where's that money going really? Where's that money? Fuck it, he's rigged them, he outsmarted you, allow him, let him keep half of it. Fuck it. Boss! Anyway, from that fucking boss to these fucking paganistic animal keepers in China, look what they're doing to these animals here. So you're probably thinking, what sort of slanted zoo is this where you can go and view a dog? Why don't I just go to my local park? Well, these paganistic zookeepers are trying to tell man that that's a fucking lion. Are you fucking mad? I will back out my laser at the dickhead that's trying to tell me that's a fucking lion. That's a furry fucking dog. For fuck's sake. It gets worse. It gets worse. There's two fucking rats in a cage. They're trying to say that's a couple fucking snakes. The only fucking snake around there is you, bro. Fucking trying to tell me that that's a fucking snake in there. I can see it's got fucking fur on it, bro. It's a hairy fucking rat, bro. It's not a fucking snake. You're the fucking reptile around there, you big fucking pagan. Fuck's sake. Reading the fucking news story now. The woman's gone to her fuck. The woman's taken her fucking daughter there, saying, oh. Don't worry, that's just a special type of lion. The fucking... The dog starts to bark. The daughter looks up at her mum. Baited out. She said, Mummy, why are you lying to me? Bruv, lions do not bark. 
They fucking roll. Fucking barking lion in there. I'm fucking. If a lion comes to fucking bark at me, I ain't even gonna deal with it, but I'll slap it with a vacuum pad so you fall back. You ain't a fucking real lion. A lion roars at me now, I'm gonna have to back out the laser. Bro, I will slap a fucking lion dog with my fucking battery pack. Do not be serious. But just sneaky paganistic zookeepers, all of you, learn. Now, finally, my final news story. These pagans from Thailand. So, everyone celebrating A-level results. Cool. Do you think? Congratulations if you got good. Don't worry if you didn't. It's not the end of the world. Keep living. Mad thing. So, Imagine this, you're the cleverest in your class now, you know that you're gonna ace the exam, there ain't no doubt about it, you don't need to cheat, no one ain't cleverer than you in your class, they'll be cheating, but it don't matter because, just basically, listen up, okay? Look at this fucking paganistic fucking headwear, are you fucking dumb, you think I am going to sit down, do a fucking lame test, and fucking wear that on my fucking head top, are you fucking mad? They look like pagans. They're lucky I don't dish out a supernova. If I didn't know what was going down, I would have just thought that was a fucking room full of pagans and back out the fucking laser. For fuck's sake. Anyway, mad thing. Enough of these pagans. If you are gonna wear one of those on your head or you're one of these fucking slanted moving teachers that are making kids wear that, you deserve a laser to your fucking face, bro. Fuck this. Anyway, end of lame news. Leg news, news told to you, not by a sideways slanted moving pagan. Some real news, subscribe to the channel. Leg down on Tuesday with pagan MCs receiving multiple lasers. Out here, mad thing. Leg fucking news. Hashtag fucking leg. That, because he can't come home every day and you can see what he's learning at school. You're putting your child in the hands of some flimsy sideways moving crabs.